What's up everybody and welcome to Monterey Car Week. This is a really special week. We're actually here at Quail today. I've stayed up all night long carving this out of this one big block of sand. Uh, you know, just wanted to show my, my appreciation for the community, but let's go uh, check out some really cool cars. Hong Kong. This is a different level of insanity. I am so stoked to be here. You guys know that I'm a big Lambo fan. Today was the day that the Huracan replacement was officially announced. And I've got this, uh, the very first showing of this car right over my shoulder right here. Check this thing out. Hey, on honest opinions on the new Lambo. Okay, honest opinions. It, it doesn't look as aggressive as the Huracan that it replaces but it's kind of smoothed out. It's actually a really pretty car. And that's kind of my initial take on the new Huracan replacement. Do we know what it's called, by the way? Temerario? Temerario? Tem I thought you were in prison, first of all, but second of all, you inspired me with my Trump rap Sparato. We shot. Oh, we yeah, shot I saw that. that. Good job. <laughs> What's up? What's up? I'm Tate. We didn't get arrested for it, but. Yeah, because he's shooting. Try shooting the fireworks out of the helicopter. Out of the helicopter. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How's that going, by the way? You're going to be okay? Am I on camera? Oh, what's, what's up, up there? We're just kind of talking to some ideas. Supercar yeah, Ron. I got, I got my yeah. fake stuff on. All good. All good. Yeah. Yeah. Take it off. Now. What's up, John? Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Good yeah. to yeah. see you. Beautiful yeah. display. Yeah. 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 Fun to yeah. show it off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is so yeah. cool. Yeah. I just heard you talking yeah. about top speed. Uh, he was just showing me a picture of the So, I mean, it's something I'm still actively working on. And, you know, we'll get out there. You might have seen this actually before. It's like, you know what? Does it matter? We'll sell all of our cars without it. It matters to me. Yeah. And it matters that, that, like that I told our customers, I told the world yes. years ago that we're going to do that. We're going to make the fastest So it's car part of our DNA. Yeah. It's part of yeah. our company. It's part of our family. Yeah. It's what we do. We don't just rest on our laurels or talk about how beautiful our cars are. Yeah, the cars are beautiful and they're very artistic. Yeah. But at the, at the the essence of what we do is we push the boundaries, we take risks, and uh, as an American company, we're, we're proud of that. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Hey, you had a Gunther right. before. Did we did. Another one? We did. I, so I really, really like them. I think they're super cool cars. I made some money on mine, which is kind of the goal with any of my collection is like, don't lose money. That's like my investment thesis on basically life. Don't lose money. These Gunthers, they're so unique, um, you know, and they're instantly recognizable. The performance is there. Um, I've seen a couple of new intros. In fact, let's go look at this one really quick. They've got a turbo version. They obviously have these cabriolets now. I mean, super cool cars, really great display too. But I feel like in Ron fashion, you're more of a singer guy. So, I, I think I am more of a singer guy. They're just like a little, um, I don't know how to put this, like a little more vintage-y throwback-y. Yes. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're like, they're like the pure essence, I feel like, of, of Porsche. And these are kind of a modern uh, interpretation. And I appreciate them. I think they're so sick. And the build quality is like second to none. That's why I owned one for a year. I, I, um, but I'm probably more of a DLS guy. This oh is speaking gosh. to you. This is killing me right now. This is killing me. Look at this thing. It is, okay, look, like I just kind of got done talking about uh, the Gunther works and how they're kind of a little loud, a little modern interpretation, but this thing is, this thing is unbelievable. It's like, unbelievable. This, is, this singer is unbelievable. Yes. I like, think it was. Wood, wood rock. Yes, 100%. Yes. I think it was like, you saw the Gunthers over there, like, oh my gosh, they're so cool. And then this kind of blows it out of the water. It's, it's like not, it's not close in my mind. Like those Gunthers are so sick. This is something, this is something else though, entirely. I've had two Bugattis, the Chiron Sport and the Vitesse. Both are phenomenal. They run like champs. They go so hard and so fast. This is the newest Bugatti, and I can't wait to get in the cockpit of this car. I think this is my favorite car that I've seen so far here at Quail. Like, and we've seen some pretty exceptional It's hot. Cars. It is so hot. It actually looks smaller in person yep. than even the previous Bugatti. It does. Because this is a gorgeous car. Very well done to Bugatti. Guys, what a cool display we have here. This is the Koenigsegg 30th anniversary display. We've got Koenigsegg race cars. We've got the full exposed carbon CCX. And we have my old friend that was in my garage. We've got my CCXR and manual right behind us. But like I, all I have of me driving is pictures of this thing being picked up on a flatbed. 
that's not for me. That is not what I look for in a car. And unfortunately, um, if the car's not going to work, it goes bye bye from my garage. And so that's that's why that car left. What do you think about this place? This bro? is um, what do you this think is about unbelievable. This, this is like my heaven, dude. Yeah. Like legitimately, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we are with the new Nevera R. Okay, this car is probably the fastest accelerating car. Uh, made actually in the history of mankind and at least stock um, they have juiced it with all of this new aero kit um, supposed to be even faster in the turns I mean it's pretty the, the transformation is pretty dramatic like this car looks amazing now I, I didn't really think it was that aggressive looking before but man this thing looks good Follow me, we're here at Quail. We are now entering the Pagani booth. I have not seen the new Utopia Roadster in person yet. I've only seen pictures and press releases. I wanna go check it out. How's it going, boys? Beard, I love it. Good. <laughs> this morning, man. At least there's a nice breeze, yeah, so it's not too like hot in there. Yeah, yeah. This is That's actual. Like it's actual human hair. Yeah. I've, I've really leveled up my game. From which part? Oh, which part of the body? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, actually, don't ask, don't tell. Yeah. We don't talk about those things. Okay. Just don't smell through a side. That's what you. I don't. What else you do for a living, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just wear. I wear. I'm a beard model. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you guys are killing it, man. Oh, thank you, dude. I love yeah. it, dude. You do your kick TikToks are crazy. Yeah, yeah you guys. I love them. Yeah, so we cool. just started. You're oh, trying to figure it out. I love, I love that, that crazy one you did on the, was it Salt Flats? Or yes, yes. Gee, that is yes. The With the Lambo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys, I've loved my Wyra Roadster Tempesta. It's been so fun to own. Pagani makes these crazy pieces of art. And this is their latest unveiled. This is their latest unveiling, the Utopia Roadster. This is the first time I'm seeing this car. Beautiful spec and exposed red carbon. Come walk through some of the details with me. The doors do go up on this one. Yeah. Woo! They go like this. They go like this. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's uh -huh. right. That's right. Look, here's the thing. The launch spec of the Utopia, and I'm standing here in the Pagani booth saying this, so I hope they don't shoot me, was awful. <laughs> It was awful. It was the worst spec you could possibly put on the Utopia. As I've seen them in darker colors and in different variations, I've really grown to like them a lot. This car looks insane. Like, look at the interior on this car. Like, this checkerboard finish, like the, I mean, look at all the, all the milled aluminum stuff on the dash. Like, it is, and look, look, the door does go up. The door goes up. You know? Yes. Not like this, not like this, but like this. Yeah, like, yeah. pretty nice. And this red carbon is crazy. Dude, this exposed red carbon is one of the wildest finishes that I've ever seen on this car. So this this Utopia Roaster, this is a win. This is a big win for Pagani. It looks phenomenal. We have found the end-all, be-all of cars. Um, it is unbelievable. Look at this Arrivederci behind me. This is the last Pagani Zonda ever produced, and it is here at Quail right now. One car, one car, that's it. Consolidate everything, sky is the limit. It's probably the car right behind me right now. The Pagani Zonda, and, and specifically this Arrivederci is unbelievable. All right guys, we are right here at the booth with Sizinger, I think is how they pronounce it, or Zinger, I really don't know. Um, but this is the first time I'm seeing these cars in person. We are actually gonna, I think, eventually make it out to their facility and go test drive one of these cars. But I wanted to sit in one, feel it, check it out. Build quality looks top notch. And this car right behind me just set the Goodwood track record. So let's go take a look. Like the seating arrangement on this is right in the middle of the car. So you have this huge sill that you have to kind of get across. I've never been in one of these cars. I hope to drive one here soon. Um, and then you have a double, like a, a you know, front and back seating position. Um, man, what a, what a unique concept though, but this, this particular spec is gorgeous. This green exposed carbon fiber with like the orangey pink accents. This car is crazy fast and just set the Goodwood hill climb. In fact, they've, like, they've, got it, they've got it right there on the back. They set the Goodwood record. Um, and I, I think it's a really cool car. It's all 3D printed. This is like brand new technology. I've heard that these guys are going to be supplying parts for other manufacturers as well. But this is kind of their halo car, their entry car into the, the hypercar world. All right, guys, we are now looking. Don't, don't show them yet. Don't show them yet. 
We are now looking at what is being self-proclaimed as the greatest supercar of all time. You tell me. Check this thing out. This is the Gordon Murray T50. This is the race edition. <laughs> as my flowing locks get into the shot. This is the race car version of the T50. They also have the T33 up here on the stand. I haven't seen these cars in person until today, but I want to go check them out. It looks like a kind of a weird Mazda Miata neck with an MP or the, the MC12. Yeah. Uh, first edition McLaren has like those kind of vibes and it even has like the paint color from those yeah. very first MC12 It's like cars. a Miata and like a Lotus Elise. Yeah, like had a baby. Yeah, yeah. This is the car right behind me, okay? This Aston Martin Valkyrie is so amazing, dude. Like I want one so badly. I just don't think they're straight legal in the US. Coop or Spider? That's the question. Either, either. <laughs> whatever you can <laughs> sell them. Yeah. Whatever you fit in, I think. Well, we a, I think we got a little better chance with the spider, maybe. I mean, the spider, sure. I, yeah. I fit better in a spider. Probably right. Room, no right? Top. Yeah. Yeah, but but where is a spider Valkyrie for sale? You know what I'm We're saying? gonna we'll do the dance. We'll do the rain dance and. And voila. Voila. <laughs> this is my first time at Quail. I actually happen to have a car here at Quail, and I love that it's set up in this area where it shows the evolution of supercar and hypercars. But this is my one of one Moroni Eclipsis manual Murcielago SV. And I love this car. I love how it's presented here at Quail. Thanks to my friends at Curated for setting this whole thing up. But look how great it looks here at Quail. Do you know this car? Uh, you think hey, that's a, this is a special one. They think that this is the last manual V12 to leave the factory. That's kind of what they were telling me. Is that's what that's what the thought is. I don't know. I have to check. Yeah. Yeah. Did you help in the development of the Murcielago? So you spent a lot of time in the Murcielago. Yes. Yes. So this one went through, it's obviously different from the other manual SVs because it's this, you know, brown or tan with the manual transmission, but um, I'm really excited to have it in my collection. I just thought it would be fun to grab you because you're so legendary. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Guys, this has been my first time at Quail. Today has been so fun. Showing my very first car at Quail, the first time I'm attending at Quail, has really been icing on the cake. There have been some incredible cars that we've seen today. Just wait, I'm gonna announce a couple of really important additions to the garage. I just had to check them out here at Quail. We are working on a couple of these vehicles right now. I am so stoked though. If you haven't been here, you really should come if you're a car guy, because this is the greatest motorsport gathering on earth.